I was at Radio Shack the other day and uh, they gave me a coupon so uh, I had to buy something so I decided to try this uh, new U-Mold plastic it's a new hotness from Radio Shack They're, uh, it, it's kind of neat interesting stuff it actually melts in hot water so I figured I'd give it a try and uh, it's really easy to use and uh, it actually works really well I'm trying to repair this brush here and uh, I couldn't put the uh, epoxy right in there because there's like a hole in there that they had drilled inside where the handle goes see how the handle fits in there so I figured the U-mold plastic would be a good uh, thing to try in there, and you can you can see where it's where the little slug is in there. It's it's a perfect seal. I just balled it up and stuck it in there, and then pushed it in there real good in that hole, and then cut off the excess with my mat knife. But uh, it works really good for that. And I'm sure he could think of all kinds of things that I would never even think of. Now, to use it, it just comes in this bag here. What you do is, you uh, take your hot water from your tea kettle or whatever, and uh, you pour it into a container. I'm using a pill bottle here because I just needed a tiny little bit to plug this hole in this thing and uh, then you put in your plastic you pour in your pellets and uh, you just wait it doesn't take very long you just wait for it to turn clear it's easier to see when you're doing it but uh, you can kinda see how it's starting to turn clear around the edge it'll it'll the edge will turn first and uh, still a little cloudy the water doesn't even have to be all that hot I this is uh, water from uh, tea that my mom made about half hour ago and it's still hot enough to melt this It's almost done. You can see there's a little bit of whiteness in the middle there. I'm kind of impatient. Let's. All right. And it act, it's kind of strange because usually plastic will will float on water, but this stuff here it sinks to the bottom, so it's more dense than water. It's a little different. It's not like most plastic that you know stays solid in water. It's a special. Uh, polymer I guess so alright it's melted then what you do you just dump out the water and it'll stick to the bottom real nice so then you flip it over and you whack it a couple times and uh, then you just you can play with it you can mold it to your heart's content and it'll stay uh, it'll stay like that depending on how Hot, you got your water and everything for about a minute or so before it becomes unformable and re-solidifies and it also depends on how thin you make it and uh, there you go and you notice this piece here is purple but it actually starts out white and I guess they do sell colorants for it, but I don't know where. They didn't have it at my local store. But I actually figured out to color it, all you need is just a regular ink pen. Just the the oil-based ink uh, will uh, stick to it. All you got to do is, uh, after you melt it, uh, you just work it for a minute until it gets kind of semi-solid 
and then you just write on it with the pen just color as much as you can before it gets hard enough that it the ball doesn't roll anymore and then you just take it put it back in your your container and uh, remelt and then work the uh, work the uh, the ink into it and the ink won't come out in the water if it's the if it's the right kind of ink it'll stick to the plastic and it won't dissolve in the water and uh, you can see here I actually colored this piece purple it turned out really nice it's a really nice color and if you press it into a another piece of plastic of course it'll look better you'll have a shiny surface but as you can see this is rough from my fingerprint that it left in there so I can I can say this is a definite thumbs up for this stuff I mean there's just you can make a mold you know out of uh, silicone or or even other plastic will work like uh, polyethylene you could you could melt some polyethylene it takes a lot more heat of course uh, I'm not going to get into how to do that and you can make a mold with that and then you can mold this with that uh, or you could you could use like an epoxy like a flexible epoxy because you want your mold to be able to to flex so you can pull out the uh, what you're molding with it so uh, yeah I, this is a definite thumbs up for me so uh, try this out and I think you'll like it alright that's about it for now thanks for watching